Hey guys, welcome to the Rock Solid Fitness Design Your Body Fitness Video Tips. Today's lesson will be about calories and how much is actually too much for you to intake. Okay? When you look at what a calorie is, a calorie is one unit of energy. So when you burn one calorie, you've burned one unit of energy, giving your body energy to move, function, and go about your daily day. When you look at how many calories you intake, everything that you eat, yogurt, bananas, anything that you eat has an associated number of calories to it. Now, when you take in your daily calories, no matter how much it is, some of those calories will go straight, will be burned straight as energy and will be used towards that daily activity. And the remaining calories that are not used towards your daily activity end up being stored as fat or excreted from the body. Again, most calories become stored as fat. So that's why you want to be careful you want to know exactly how many calories your body needs to live day to day and also how many calories you need to add exercise and other activities to that. This figure called resting metabolic rate. Resting metabolic rate is a figure that you will take your height, your weight, and your age, and even your sex has a different figure to it. It will take that those numbers and give you your, your suggested caloric intake for that day. And you also want to add some of your activity levels in there. That will give you more caloric um, input for those activities. So when you take your RMR, the picture, again, will be shown on the screen. When you find your RMR, now you have your suggested number of calories for the day. And now you can actually manipulate how your body uses weight, how your body uses energy. So once you have this number, if you're looking at losing weight, again, in order to lose one pound of fat, your body needs to burn 3,500 calories. In order to lose two pounds of fat, your body needs to burn 7,000 calories. So you want to stay within the range of one pound to two pounds. Don't worry about the Biggest Loser and other products and other uh, systems that may have show people you losing more than two pounds a week because those are extreme situations and you want to be safe. Okay, those are certain situations that are not, should not be geared and related towards every single individual that which I'm speaking to here today. So again, you want to lose between one and two pounds a week for safety measures. In order to burn one or two pounds a week of calories, you want to look at doing a few things. Burning a total of 5,000 calories a day, excuse me, burning a total of 500 calories a day for seven days will give you 3,500 calories in a seven day period. Now that 500 calories can be, say you decrease your total of caloric intake by 500 calories for that day by only nutrition. Times that, so you're eating less per day, you will lose one pound of fat. But also say, now you only, say you only decrease 25 calories, excuse me, 250 calories, and you add 250 calories of exercise, you still have that number of 500. So whenever you want to do, Organize your diet, organize your nutrition, organize your exercise based off of burning 3,500 calories per week or 7,000 calories per week. Now when you look at wanting to gain muscle, just like we said, 3,500 calories is equal to one pound of fat. 2,500 calories is equal to one pound of muscle. So for those of you that are looking at gaining muscle, at bulking up, you want to increase your caloric intake by 2,500 pounds. Now that's not of anything. Okay, excuse me, you want to increase your caloric intake by 2,500 calories per week. Now, that's not of just anything. You want to have good, solid proteins, good, healthy um, carbohydrates. You want to eat healthy still, okay? If you want to go the route of taking supplements, you may. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't suggest it. I suggest, again, you still eat close to the ground. But whatever you do, you can manipulate your weight based off of the number of calories that you intake. Be very careful. Everything that you intake, if it's not used, it will be stored as fat, even if you're looking at gaining muscle. If you don't work out, that's the key with gaining muscle is you have to lift weights. You have to go hard in the gym and you have to eat healthy, not just fried foods, not just anything. Again, you still have to eat healthy. So going back to our topic, calories and what is too much. Once you calculate your resting metabolic rate, you will have an actual figure for you personally and how many calories you should intake. As you start to lose weight or gain weight based off of your goals, then you always want to sit down and recalculate that figure so you can stay more on track and be more accurate with the numbers that you're inputting and the numbers that you're, you're intaking calorically and also with the numbers that you're putting out once you exercise. Every time you intake, you want to know what you're doing and how many calories you're, you're taking into your body. And every time you exercise, you want to know how many calories you're taking out. One biggest tip of advice I can give you is look at this formula here. 
calories in equals calories out. When you take calories in versus calories out, this is a formula that you should be looking at. Okay, calories in means what you intake. If you only put out less, if you put out less calories than what you intake, you're going to gain weight. If you put out let more calories than what you intake, you're going to lose weight. So again, calories in is less than calories out, therefore you lose weight. If calories in is greater than your calories out, you're going to gain weight. Thanks so much for listening to us today and our topic about calories and how much is too much. Okay, again, my name is Michaela Brock. Please give us any suggestions, any tips, any advice on what you want to hear on, on our next five-minute video. Thanks so much, guys. We appreciate it.